Hi, it's Simon and Notion just released Notion Calendar, a brand new app and it's gonna be huge. In this video, I'll walk you through everything you need to know and share my favorite new features in two sections. Number one, the features I think will make this Notion Calendar a better standalone calendar app than the Google Cal interface and many others. And second, the Notion workspace and database integration features that are the real game changers. Do you see that add Notion database option in the bottom left there? Just you wait. If you are a Notion user, you've likely been following Notion's hyped social media countdown over January 2024. And today we learned that after acquiring Cron Calendar, Cron is now becoming Notion Calendar, a brand new app that sits alongside Notion on your desktop or device and has a ton of new potential uses and integrations with the Notion app itself. It's actually a really surprising list of amazing features from how you use Notion, from some really great calendar ideas, and it's going to, for me, transform the powers of my Notion Life OS systems and templates over the years. So yes, my friends, this has been a video I've been hoping I could make for a very long time. So first off, this is one step short of a full Google Calendar sync in Notion, but equally, it's kind of a lot more than that and a lot better in many ways. And it's a lot of things we didn't expect. Let's be honest, I'm pumped. Let's dive into it. So first, the new Notion Calendar app headlines. After Cron Calendar were acquired by Notion and worked together for a while, it turns out that they'd been secretly developing this new app with Notion. And as such, Cron as we know it is coming to an end. End to Notion Calendar, a full native integration that has turned Cron into the Notion Calendar system. To set it up, I recommend downloading the desktop app definitely on Mac or Windows for the most functionality. iOS is coming soon, and I'm told by Notion that the Android app is TBD. Notion Cal is available on the web as well as a browser, calendar.notion.so, if you want to go and see it there. And access for the calendar is unbelievably simple. You just log in with your Google Calendar account or old Cron account, and away you go. Later, other providers will be available and added to the system. And so it's essentially a fully featured calendar app that can do more than replace your Apple calendars or whatever. And it builds on a lot of the cool existing Cron features like rule management, participant management, extra things like sending emails from within the app and managing work and life business calendar events with things like video conferencing or availability scheduling. In fact, it even kind of does a bit of a calendarly impression and can help you schedule meetings with people outside of your system. Let's dive into that. First up, you can have multiple Google accounts within the same workspace. Nice, and not something easily done with Google Cal. So I can also set up one calendar to mark me as busy and another in this system. And then the best thing is I've got no more scheduling issues. So we could right click on this personal calendar entry in the Gmail account and then set it to show on the other calendar, my better creating calendar account and just select busy on the work account and boom, there you go. Powerful workflows enabled between multiple calendars. In Notion Calendar, you can also drag events across weeks in the system. I've been wanting to do this for years in Google Cal and it's not been possible. I think this is a really great native system. And what's really cool is if I do Command K, I can bring up this menu and make lots of different things happen. It's quite intuitive. We can search November 5th and then jump straight to that spot in the calendar. We can do W for a week view and we can do month for a month view, W and M. Look at that. And there's loads more of great ways to jump around. What I really like about this view is that when you add a new event, the week doesn't get covered up. So you're able to work on the new event and see the entire view next to it. Again, not something I've seen in other calendar apps very often. It's a nice touch and you can even now overlay other people's calendars over yours to do some scheduling. That is super powerful. There's a great new time zone feature as well here, which means that you can have as many time zones as you like. You can just go command K and then search time zone pick the one you want and drop it in. Raphael at Notion demoed how you can temporarily bring up time zones for colleagues and then arrange meetings using that time zone. And it's all super intuitive and accessible. I really like that Command K feature to jump to it. Now, finally, for this section, this has to be one of my favorite features. There is a built-in kind of lightweight 
Calendly system. This means that I can do quick and easy, intuitive external scheduling of events. You've had those emails back and forth, right, where you want to kind of try and book a time. Well, in this, we can do scheduling of an event, and then I can actually select and highlight areas of availability in the calendar. It lists them there, and then I can copy that into an email and send it off to someone and they can pick one. Or even better, you can create a kind of booking link, a scheduling link, and then share that with your guest and they're able to select from it. That's a game changer and another thing that pulls that kind of all-in-one workspace together for me. It generates that meeting booking and then when it's booked, it frees up all the holds that you sent out on the invitation and confirms in the calendar, the one you're using ridiculous. Let's move on to part two, and this has got to be the bit you've really been waiting for, the Notion integration options. One click Notion databases in Notion Calendar. We can now view any Notion database that has a calendar or timeline view set up for it in the Notion Calendar app. Notably, this means that we can do things like put our task databases, project timelines, or say content and publishing calendars directly onto our calendar app and then take advantage of all the usual drag and drop, extending, scheduling, time blocking options that that might afford. That is the closest thing we've had to Google Calendar and task management syncing. It just happens to be in a new Notion app, not in the Notion workspace. But what's really cool is if you update that calendar or database in Notion, it updates in the calendar and vice versa. So we do have native two-way sync there. Headline number two is Notion documents and pages linking into the system. So we can find and create Notion documents or pages directly within a calendar event. So we can share meeting notes and resources directly with anyone invited to the calendar event in our Google Calendar. But perhaps even cooler, is number three. That is that the desktop app even now offers one-click access in a menu bar at the top where you can see a simple view of your schedule. But what that really means, which is gonna be a game changer for me, is that we'll be able to view upcoming meetings, including the Zoom link or Google Meets link we need to jump to, and then any of those linked Notion pages that have been shared with people in those events. So you can easily access them quickly and easily. That's huge for removing friction around meetings. So let's go a little further with this Notion database and Notion calendar use case list. The first one has got to be task scheduling using Notion calendar. And what you can see is if I adjust the time blocking for a task in the calendar, drag it around and move it, it will update the start and end time in Notion in the database. Really cool. Again, a two-way sync. Now, a lot of you might be wondering about how do I make sure that certain information doesn't show up in my calendar if I don't want it there. Whatever calendar view you've picked from a database, if you go and filter that in Notion, that will then have an effect on the view that you have in Notion calendar. It means that you can restrict the information you share with your Google Cal view. For example, filter by tasks that are not complete and you'll only see incomplete tasks in the calendar rather than everything that's on that list. Or maybe you just want to filter by a certain project and only show those in your calendar. We can also therefore now overlay our tasks, timelines and time blocking with our existing Google Calendar planning in that Notion calendar. So whilst this is not full Notion and Google Calendar sync yet, it is the best way to align your calendar with a Notion workspace in this new app. So if you follow the channel, you'll know how much of a big deal this will be for my Notion Life OS systems and templates. It makes the concept of building and using a complete second brain in Notion a true reality. So before we finish, what about that Google Calendar Sync? And specifically, I know a lot of you always wanna know about recurring items populating a calendar in Notion. Well, my friends, the overall vibe I got on that preview meeting we were given by Raphael last week suggested that it's not fully there, but they do intend to bring it. My takeaway is that Notion Calendar is now the best place to view and unify calendars across databases. It really means that you can do things like one-time events, planned items for publishing, that's gonna work really well. If you wanna keep and create proper custom recurring events in your calendar, you still need to do that with your Google Calendar view in the Notion Calendar app. And currently Notion pages themselves and Notion databases aren't fully powered calendar events in that way. But what we do have now is that ability to view both together in one view for the first time and actually not let one, you know, get in the way of another. And that, my friends, is where we'll pick up 
in the next video. Well, what do you think then about this new announcement? How will you be using, if at all, Notion Calendar? I wanna hear from you in the comments and definitely tell me what you'd like to see covered about this subject on future videos. I, for one, plan to continue to experiment with how we can build in Notion in a way that really utilizes this calendar app in clever ways for life organization, as well as integrating those approaches into my templates this year, hence why I've been holding off on some of my new releases. So make sure you're on the mailing list to check those out. Watch this space, my friends. I've linked Notion calendar below, and I recommend watching this video next on how Notion can quickly and easily become a bespoke task manager in a way that could really work with this or watch this one down here for a tour of my latest simple habit tracker template that I'm really chuffed with. Make sure to subscribe for some very exciting Notion and other productivity content coming very soon on the channel and with that I'd better get back to creating.